What up, though, y'all? This all hustle, no cap. If you've been following me on IG, you know I've been trying to get the video editing up. That's the word sliding across the screen and shit. This is gonna be a quick video about how I set up events and touch picks and put overlays on my videos. But before we do, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm doing these videos so you don't miss out on this fire-ass content I'm about to have on this channel. If you wanna grab your computer and follow along, let's go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is log into your account and click the create event and then click create custom event. The first thing I like to do is name my event, something I'm gonna remember. And then select the country. And then I always deselect mirror overlay preview because it makes the live view backwards. And I always turn on my rear camera. I always deselect photos, boomerangs, GIFs, videos, and I only leave slow-mo on. You can change your slow-mo recording time here. And over here is where you add your audio file to your video. So you gotta find it on your computer and then add the file to touch pics. I don't ever do nothing with none of this stuff over here. I just skip that. And then down here, it gives you some options to brand it. I put my own company name in there and like cross out where it says touch pics in all them areas. Here you could do your, some more branding stuff, put your, your brand name and then like change your attract screen and whatnot. But I'm leaving that just to keep it simple. I never touch the survey or the motion trigger, but I do turn on the external screen section because I use the live view. That's that monitor y'all seen. And I always make sure QR carousel is enabled so they can get their pictures and scan them on the live monitor. And then you click submit. So at this point, they give you the QR code. You can scan into your smartphone and activate your event. But if you want to go ahead and put an overlay on your video, you go to the designer. So let's click that. All right, so the first thing you do is go to template and you want to make sure this is important that you change this from photo overlays to slow-mo overlays. Because remember, that's what we're doing, slow-mo overlays. So you click that and they have a couple you could choose from depending on what dimensions you want. I like to use the, the widescreen one, so I'm gonna click that. And then you go to uploads, and then you go to custom sticker and click add file, and click the browse button. And this is where you can get your uh, overlay from where you saved it on your computer. And you add that right there. And it's gonna pop up on the left hand side. And you just click it and it'll bring it to the template. Now at this point, you just gotta resize it. So you grab the little square and you can resize it and just drag it until it fits the template. Now it's important to note that my overlay was pre-sized for this template. You wanna make sure that you have your overlay size for the proper template that you plan on using for your event. Make sure you get everything exactly centered in position where you want it at. And then just click the add template button right here. It's gonna turn yellow for a couple seconds and then wait for it to turn green. And then once it's green, you know that it's added to your, your event. So you can check it by going to events. And right here, by the way, you can see your status is, is test. That's because you haven't activated it yet. You can go right here to get your QR code at any time to activate or deactivate your event. Uh, the gallery is where all the videos go after the event as well as like the link so you can give everybody so they can share their videos and then overlays is what you click to see if your overlay actually made it and you see our overlay is here and it's centered and it's good and that is what it's going to look like on the video so i'm happy with that and you can also you know do a test event on touch pics and just make sure that everything's the way you like it but i'm happy with that as you can see setting up the event and putting the overlay on the video is not that hard one thing I will say is with the overlays, you want to make sure that you have your overlay size for the template that you're using. Uh, if you need help with templates or you need somebody to make a template for you, I actually do design templates. I do charge for that, but you know, you can hit me on my IG and then, you know, hit me on the DM and let me know and I'll put you an overlay together. I can usually do them pretty fast too. I'm going to take a few seconds to answer some comments on my page because y'all been super responsive. So let's see what y'all got to say. Jay, Jay Page, I hope I ain't say that wrong, says... I'm new to this, so what do you use the TV for? She's talking about the TV that I used in my video when I showed when I did my first photo booth event. I use that TV as a live event monitor so people can see themselves, uh, you know, on top of the photo booth while it's going around. And Selino Solomon says, which 360 software are you currently using? Well, if you watch this video, you know I'm using touch picks. McWarren one says, how much you charge for a rental? We started at 175 an hour because I was trying to, you know, make sure we get bookings and stuff, but 
we've been doing pretty good and we've been getting booked up so the price is going up we recently just raised the price to 225 an hour and based on the feedback the price can always go up don't never forget that all right y'all thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the like and the notification bell subscribe button all that shit and follow me on ig you can see my real life ask me questions i do consultations now you know what i'm saying they are they are paid consultations because you know this is a hustle but you know i do consultations you can ask me anything you want to hit my dm let me know appreciate y'all Peace.